Hello and welcome back to All My Art and Soul. I'm Michelle Holden and we are back doing our abstract art journaling pages and I miss and love doing a page every day. So today, this week's video is all about shape. And as you can see there, um, I've got some new number stencils, some large ones. As you can see, letters and numbers. I love text. I sort of like this. I like the style of this. And um, there's other ways to get text as well. You can really super enlarge um, your fonts, get different styles, repeat them. You can put them on laser paper or copy paper. I use both in my collage. But today, I just didn't want to have to think of shapes because this is something that I, and I think a lot of people, uh, are still working on. Uh, working on the way that, um, what shapes do I like? Why do I like them? Why do I like the shapes in that artwork? How can I borrow those, but still make them mine authentically? So, I'm just sort of searching through here. I like this cardboard. Where did I get these? Oh, I got these at Michael's, um, Ontario Art Store. We have Curry's, Michael's, and I am not downtown Toronto, so I do not have that luxury. Um, so number five, um, if any of you have come across any kind of numerology or whatever, um, I mostly, sometimes I use it for the meaning, but sometimes I just love the shape. I like the curl of these, and that is the negative, so I will be using that as well. And then we have the smaller. So I don't really usually use, uh, use them for words, but I like, like the repeated pattern using, using letters, using text. And I really love some text, so um, I need to hunt down some different fonts and make some sheets to cut out. So as you can see, uh, I'm back to using the yellow tape, uh, mostly because I'm running out. And I really love how easy, easily the yellow tape comes off. And I don't even need to heat it with a hairdryer. So I got some extra... Um, um, yellow tape. And as you can see, I got a new jar. I think this is the 16 ounce. It's just a generic or a store Michael's brand of the heavy gloss medium. And gathering, um, don't ask me why. I don't know where this pink came from. Oh, I know why. Because this page right here um, with leftover from that last black and white of the 30 day affirmation series, the art journaling series, I had extra, so I just rolled it on. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do next week, um, we're gonna start just doing some really intuitive um, uh, art journals, not worrying about the edges or anything. This is where we're really exploring and playing. This is sort of halfway um, I am um, towards uh, maybe thinking, oh, the colors, this would look great. But other than that, that's all I'm thinking. I wanted it black and white just because that's the page that was there. And I thought, oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do another black and white. Um, and all the grays in between with one hero color, which is pink. And I think... What I've been attracted to lately, because I've been looking into uh, new mark making, is the scribbling lines that different tools, and I'm going to be making my mark making tools. I still, I still haven't carved out the time, but I will be, and experimenting with those in a whole separate journal. And I don't think I want it on a journal, I'm going to use just different scrap papers and then use um, an old book or something like that to put them all together so I can have a reference of marks. And I know that different artists do this in different ways. Some artists use binders. And you know what? Um, if I have a bunch of marks and you have the clear sleeves and I'm using just inexpensive copy paper, 
besides maybe some big rolls that I might tear into collage pieces later. Who knows? But a binder with clear sleeves might work for you. You might just um, take an old book and just glue the mark making papers in in whatever kind of order so you can have a reference. So anyways, back to the journal page. So just some random marks with the Brer and I really loved what, what happened, what they created. It sort of looks like letters, and I think, or numbers, I think the letter R there on the left in some way, just a silhouette. So I thought, okay, using pink as the accent or the hero color, let's grab some pens, and that's what I did in and around. So I'm thinking of showing, covering, veiling, layering. And um, this is, I, I consider this an all over page or composition um, because it's definitely not, um, the area up at the top ends up being pink and it's mostly just pink and dark. So it's definitely just all over. It doesn't show up in three sections, three different sizes or anything like that, I don't, I don't think. So I'm thinking of, cor of uh, quadrants as well. Sometimes it starts all over, but the quadrants our eye seems to pick up uh, and having something uh, different in each quadrant is very pleasing um, to our eye. And I really love this combination. Um, I was showing at the beginning there um, the two different brands of, let's see, what is that? Oh, that neutral, it'll come to me in a moment. Um, our, one is a lot warmer than the other, and I really like it. It reminds me of like linen, or this is the neutral tone that I'm referring to, that I showed at the beginning of the video. And the name almost came to me, but I'll, uh, I'll be leaving the paint names, the color names, in the description. So what I learned in the 30-day affirmation art journaling I will carry on and add on and change and, you know, we're moving on to other projects. So, this is the thing. Making sure we build up enough layers and then quieting down some areas or joining other, you know, the black there I used to make a more interesting shape. Uh, leaving that little opening and which makes a really nice invitation for a nice piece of collage in there. I mostly just do, I notice I'm just doing squares and rectilinear um, shapes with curves and I love circles. So I notice that a lot of my pages, if I'm using circles, it's mostly those shapes. And I think the repetition of the different kinds of circles, the different, um, really makes it interesting. Uh, combining the two, but one being the predominant shape uh, of your composition is probably important. Now, as you can see, it, it was really too busy, but I chose a dark as the background to quiet it down. And my next, exploration will be, okay, what are different ways to quiet down um, a very busy page? So, you know, using black, uh, notice I didn't, I have the white, but it's the transparent white. Uh, maybe a more opaque, using the white, um, taking down all that black. But as you can see, as I progress through this page, so don't forget to Stay to the end, like, subscribe, and hit the reminder button. And uh, if you feel like, uh, if you really have liked this content, and I think I have, what is it, 138 or so videos, if you feel like buying me a coffee, you can also do that with that little symbol there that um, a lot of the YouTube channels now are putting um, on there. Um, it would be really appreciated and um, it would just help grow and improve this channel. So as you can see, a little bit of 
paint got on there, but this is the uh, deli, the unwaxed deli paper, and it can handle one wipe or two with just a damp cloth. And as you can see, I'm I'm thinking more vertical, but then here I go opposite, which is a horizontal, long, short, and just trying to stop the eye from leaving the page up in that upper right hand corner and these thoughts and these moves I call them moves um, ha happen very quickly uh, very intuitively and that's uh, that's a that's a topic that I'm that we're going to be getting into uh, there's a lot of discussion uh, amongst artists especially the, the mentor artists uh, what is intuitive uh, what is in intuition uh, when you're following that, when you're creating. Um, so some people seem to have some really interesting perspectives on that. So just going with these marks, and I'm really loving this pink. Uh, the pot, uh, This is the Sharpie, which is great and didn't smudge. It's a very deep pink. And then I've remembered, oh yeah, yes, I remembered um, looking at another work, of course, um, you know, Pinterest. A lot of mine are Instagram, too, where I view and then go into their work. And uh, there's some really amazing uh, Canadian artists. I've come across a lot of Canadian artists. And just this layering of scribbles, which is so um, right here. Just lying, oh, laying it over the black. And you've got all these precise shapes. So a really nice opposite or a nice difference would be just a whole bunch of random marks. And this, this page ends up having a lot of really great energy. And as you can see, I'm thinking diagonally across, uh, below, and working the balance. Balance is very important. Um, I find easier, not easy, but easier to work out when you're thinking quadrants. And I first learned about quadrants, that composition, um, watching Jane Davies' videos. Um, now I think you have to purchase them. This was way back in the day when her channel was, I, I think I watched every, almost every single one. Uh, even before she had her new studio, back in the day where, oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. And then she would just speak live, you know, as she was uh, wondering, what if? And that's her, her thing. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you uh, know what I'm speaking about. And uh, just watching her every once in a while uh, enables me to, okay, I should, let's push myself a little bit more, you know? And and believe me, after 30 days of those journal pages, I do want to do something different. But it doesn't devalue. Um, but I still want to keep going. Uh, not necessarily affirmation art journaling pages, but just abstract art journaling pages. So I thought I'd just, you know, remove that, come on back, and... Um, as I said uh, in the previous videos, we're going to start the, the journey of three paintings. And we're going to play and really explore with all of our scraps and leftovers. But we're going to really push it and go for it. Okay, so I thought, okay, so now I'm experimenting with different layering. Because I know that this white um, is, is quite transparent. But I, as you can see, I did a little bit of lifting. So I'm pushing and pulling. And um, this is a great practice. And I've not done this before, where I've filled in of mostly equal value, following a line and staying on the outside and letting it, the, following the contour of a line with filling in, the filling in the area of color or value, especially with this neutral. I thought, okay, we need a little bit more neutral. We could use it going down the painting down the page, I should say, it's not a painting. And now you see this extremely large 
where it goes off, it sort of disappears in behind that part of a circle, which then is echoing that bottom part of that number five, which is very curly Q, with all these other curves. And that's why I put the arc in, in that lower right there, right below the pen, and the other circles going vertical, vertically, and really liking that, I, that, that concept. So repetition, pattern, and shape. So repeating a shape in different ways, um, that's my new thing. That's, that's the thing I'm gonna be exploring. So, so much fun, this page. These colors, I would never do this. And then covering and creating some space and maybe carving out some new shapes. Yes, so picking up the curvature of that and coming up and following that line of those dots across uh, is working. And as I grow with my knowledge of the elements and principles, um, it's amazing how I'm understanding why something works and why something doesn't work. That's the mystery of it all. And the thing is, there isn't a mystery. It's just getting to know the, how, these, how these basic, the bones of art work. <coughs> Line, shape, color, value, balance, space, Texture, oh, you know, actual texture and visual texture and the direction of the texture, which then can create an energy. Uh, your lines can uh, send, uh, portray such different energies. So, and now for the tape removal. And it was so easy to, to uh, re remove this tape. So this was a fun um, all over um, page, composition page, starting, just starting to explore shapes. And I hope um, you enjoyed it. And I hope you do the same, um, trying new shapes um, in different ways. So that's me just counting and um, realizing it wasn't a thirds, it wasn't in thirds really, it's really an all over page. And don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share, and ring, and hit that bell so you get reminders. And I will see you in the next video.